in my last video on the inverted triangle body type someone asked me in the comment section she said so the end goal or the gag here is to look like the hourglass body shape or to link with our clothes proportionately so we can visually have the hourglass body shape yes i would say that is what it is because the hourglass body type is considered equal is considered proportionate is considered an ideal female physique and weight is distributed evenly on this body type so i would say that is what it is however it is a good thing that it is a world of diversity so um, we do not we are not stuck with one shape else it will be boring we have five basic um, body types and it is an even better thing that we have clothes so we can play with our clothes or work with our clothes and at the end of the day you end up with any shape that you are trying to create welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is eva my channel is on fashion and continuing the series on the body types and how to style them today we are going to be discussing the hourglass body type its do's and don'ts and tips and tricks on how to style them if you're new here consider subscribing and please do well to stay till the end of this video as you will most definitely learn something how are you how have you been let me know in the comment section starting off with the characteristics of this body type like i have said earlier it is a proportionate body type and the goal here is to not lose the proportionality of this body and the characteristics are equal bust and hip measurements or they are very close or they are equal even and a very narrow waistline anything that you are putting on on this body should follow that shape you shouldn't lose the shape inside of your clothes or um, drown the shape in your clothes the goal here is to follow the natural silhouette of this body and dress it proportionately top and bottom and also ensure not to make any part of it heavier at the top heavy or the bottom heavy by adding too much fabric or too much accessories or whatever and not replicating the same thing in the bottom half or in the top half whatever you put on make sure that the waistline is nipped or the waistline is defined and if you are adding fabric to the top make sure to add it to the bottom let us move on and talk about the sleeves the dresses the pants we will also be looking at celebrities with this body type uh christina hendrix and sewa amihere for the necklines that are very flattering for this body type i am going to start off with the v-neck i think so far the v-neck has been working for all the body types v-neck and not so wide necklines whatever you have on should be close to your neck if you're doing cleavage they should go down sleek they shouldn't be all wide or all round um, hanging on your shoulders that is not going to be flattering because this is going to visually widen your top half and if the same thing is not replicated in your bottom half you are going to have a problem or your outfit is just going to look off so um, v-neck you can do soft scoop neckline um, soft um, square neckline anything that comes out comes down delicately on your chest line that's not too wide as i've mentioned that is a go-to and also if you are big on accessories you might want to leave your neckline uncluttered um, you can do dainty jewelry dainty necklaces something soft and very feminine you wouldn't want to empower or overshadow your neck with accessories still on necklines let us look at these two pictures of christina hendrix it's still the same bust right but different necklines you'll find that the one with a wider neckline her bust looks bigger than they are and the one with a with a more fitted neckline her bust looks more portable or more compact and um, you will see the difference that necklines make so if you can keep your necklines tailored to your neck nothing crazy you will find that you are going to look your best Necklines that you would want to avoid should be turtlenecks, halter necklines, because these necklines, they are not exactly flattering because for some reason, they are going to 
make your bust twice the size yeah they will appear twice the size because it is interpreting everything as one if you are covered from the neck up to your waistline everything is going to be interpreted as one there is nothing cutting off the visual your bust are going to appear way bigger than they are let us look at this picture of Krishna hendrix where she has on a turtleneck top and a v-neck top and you'll find that for some reason the turtleneck even though it is in black and black is a slimming color it is her bust is bigger or appears bigger than here where she has on a v neckline that is because there are some skin showing out balancing out the contrast of the fabric and that is working well with her body type moving on let us talk about the sleeves that are flattering for this body type and as i've said you need everything fitted or mostly fitted so you can do fitted long sleeves fitted short sleeves you can even do sleeveless anything that follows the natural curve of your body so you don't really need to do too much in this area because your shoulders are round unlike the rectangle body shape that it is somewhat boxy and you need volume out there to cancel everything out in this case you do not just wear everything um, fitted if you want to and um, if you choose to also add volume you can do a subtle flared sleeve um, I don't think puff is going to be puff sleeves are going to be a good idea but you can do a subtle flare and you can do flared pants to match it and um, you don't need too much rust dazzle in your sleeves really things like cap sleeves epaulets um, shoulder pads and all of that just keep it clean keep it uncluttered keep it simple and you're good to go and for the tops that are very flattering for this body belted tops fitted t-shirts peplum tops you can do wrap tops as well yes now what these tops do they complement your bust area and they define your waistline if also that you can keep it uncluttered like no bows belt ribbon or, or whatever you can have them in subtle designs yes but not into overpowering but that is a good thing to have going on for your tops also endeavor to coordinate your tops with your pants this is going to further balance out your look because you don't want to have a very skinny top and you go and put on flared pants that are everywhere you can do wide leg pants that flow straight to the ground yeah you can do fitted pants you just anything that follows the natural silhouette of your body whatever you are putting on in your hip line should define your waist but because it is an hourglass body type there is usually a struggle if it fits your hip half the time it does not sink in at your waistline so you might have to do extra work having to tailor your pants in at the waistline before you can get that fitted shape that is very flattering also where your pants sits matters if it's low waisted your hips are only going to appear wider and if it is too high waisted it is going to distort the definition of your waistline and it is best if it's high-waisted not too high-waisted it can be in your natural waistline that is if you have a short torso I would uh, make a video on short and long torso but you can do your natural waistline or a little bit above your natural waistline so you have the short torso long leg look and make sure that while you're doing all of this the waistline is defined let us talk about the skirts that are flattering for you now this body type as i've said is very sleek is the ideal female physique so the number one skirt i'm going to recommend are pencil skirts pencil skirts are beautiful as they are just going to further you know just follow your body symmetry there is no rust dazzle nothing sleek plain lines someone like sewa amihere she wears fitted pencil skirts all the time and she looks dashing in all of them pencil skirts are the first on the list next you can do a-line skirts you can also do bias skirts oh bias skirts are so beautiful the soft flowiness that flows against your legs and your hips are defined of course your waist is cinched this is an a-class look 
voluminous skirts like skirts with full circle or double full circle they are not exactly flattering because they are going to make your hips look very big and your waists are going to look very small compared to your hips they are usually not my first choice but uh, you can do those if you still do something voluminous on top whilst leaving your waist cinched they are only going to make you look even curvier so if that's what you're going for you can do that let us look at this picture of sewa amihere sewa amihere i don't know if i'm getting that pronunciation but i think she has mastered how to dress her body because if you look at this picture she has on a gown there is extra fabric uh, yeah that is a chiffon material so it's very flowy there is so much going on at the top so much fabric at the bottom but you find that the waist has a different detailing and a cutout design and it is cinched to her body that is the way to go that is what we are trying to create in every of the body types that we have discussed so if you've not seen those you need to see those so you can further understand and appreciate what i'm talking about moving on to dresses that we need or that the hourglass body type needs belted dresses if it's flared you can belt it also even if it's fitted sometimes just add a minimalist belt just for extra definition you can do shift dresses they are also beautiful you can do bodycon dresses yeah basically dresses that draw attention to your waistline you can do wrap dresses ah, wrap dresses are beautiful and my personal favorite you can do straight cut dresses this is sewa's go-to straight cut dresses and she always keeps it clean whatever she has at the bottom she has it at the top let us look at these two pictures you can see what i'm talking about sewa understands her body or her stylist understands her body and they know how to dress it so you can do this option of dresses and also you can try others and see what you find also make sure the waistline is defined at the actual waistline or a little bit high waisted because if they are too high under your bust that does not do anything for you you would end up with an inverted triangle um, body type let us look at this picture of christina hendrix she has on this gown v-neck beautiful sleeveless wonderful but the waist definition or the ribbon that she attached they are under her bust you can see that the waist is just going straight the look is wanting as i have said if you want to appear more curvaceous you can add lots of fabric to your top and to your bottom half and you can also work with embellishments uh, details in your outfits and all of that razz dazzle stuff but if you want to downplay your curves you can do um, vertical lines and you can do dark colors as i have said your shape is already proportionate you really don't have much work just follow the symmetry of your natural body and you are good to go in the beginning of this video i said that it is a world of diversity and indeed it is because imagine all of us had the hourglass body type it is going to be boring that is why it is even more beautiful that there are other um, body types and it is a very beautiful thing that we have clothes and that we have learned how to style our clothes to get any um, body shape that we are going for if you want to further understand what i'm talking about look at avant-garde she doesn't care for the um, natural human body she just invents her own shape and she goes on her merry way and she is correct because personally sometimes i do not care i just wear whatever i want sometimes i work with my body type sometimes i do an all baggy look sometimes i do fitted baggy and baggy fitted and whatever my mood pleases really so what i'm trying to say is you can experiment with your clothes try things out and see what you find and if you are confused as to how to even start you can leave your questions in the comment section and i'll be sure to engage with you thank you so much for watching if you got value please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you like fashion content or if you just like to see me again thank you so much for stopping by and watching up until this point have a good day now bye